Yeah, Kickstarter is yeah. weird. I know you know they've done some weird things in the past, and it's been yeah. a while. But at, at this been point, like four, eight, five years now, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. I think you know with the whole thing going on at Indiegogo, Kickstarter is and crowdfunder, of course, and like we're, nobody wants to go to Zoop. Maybe mm -hmm. Kickstarter was is a good fallback, but really, what we need to do is find another solution. We're just not there yet. But uh, I mean, if I someone else can come up with it. Yet. I know fundmycomic.com is in beta right now. And, and I have a lot of um, admiration for the guy that started it, Luke Stone. Uh, mm -hmm. I've covered his work yeah. for a while. But I know they still got a few bugs and kinks that they're working out on the site. But if you want to get in on the ground level, particularly, you know, I, I'm thinking about it just to kind of give the guy a little bit of a signal. He really needs creators more than creators need fund my comic, you know. Mm -hmm. Um Kickstarter, on the other hand, I mean, if it's really Kickstarter or Indiegogo, right? And yeah. they've used both. Uh, yeah. uh, but the mm -hmm. thing with Backer Kit is they're starting to do their own crowdfunding, and now they're kind of acting like Zoop, where they want to invite creators on. Mm -hmm. One of the first people they invited on was um, Iron Circus Comics, and um, that's as far afield from where our project is i just thought well if that's who you're inviting then i know what kind of party this is oh, okay you? okay well i and now well, now scal and i might have yeah might have we a might story. have a little something in the works i think this is a good time to bring it up i think it is scal do you want to yeah i mean you know Phil, for Niall, those Phil. graham graham actually knows this but uh for those of you that don't know this is a good time to kind of bring it up but for those that may remember when Billy and I started this channel, it was called Crowdfunding Comics. Ooh. Well, we've owned the IP, we own the name, and we've been playing with it for a few years. And we were like, hmm, why don't we start a Crowdfunding Comics website since we already own Crowdfunding Comics? So we have oh. been in development for the past eight months now. Yeah. Eight, nine wow. months yeah. getting everything together, uh, getting the engineering team together. Uh, you know, we're, right now we're working on the financial arm of it. And uh, hopefully we have a meeting next week. Hopefully we can lock down the, the final part and we will bring, With someone hopefully who may or may not we be. will bring in the crowdfunding site where everyone can just do what they want to do. No one's going to, there's no gatekeeping. We're not going to shit yeah. out. We'll fight the protesters. We're not going to deal with it. Cause look it, you, it's a business. It's, it's business. a business. We're just giving you, here's the podium, sell your stuff. We're stepping back. This is for you. Anyone can use it. And that's what we have in development. And there's some amazing, amazing features that's no one's offering that we are. Let me just put it this way. Any aspiring creators out there, you know, there's a lot to it. You got to pay money to have a website. You have to pay for every little thing. Well, we're going to give it all to you. Oh, You're yeah, yeah. You have your own website basically on the, on the crowdfunding site. Oh, yeah. So, so it, and, and so the... Uh, uh, we may or may not have a meeting with with maybe the person that owns the biggest comic book distribution network in the world. Oh, this is news, man. This well, is huge. That's amazing. Uh, I mean, wow. that's very, really very, impressive. And, and, and may or may not be very, very, uh, a very good ally to uh, nice. making TV moves and, and, yeah. and independent creators the world over. Breaking news. Breaking, Breaking news. news. Awesome. You heard, you heard it here, news. folks. This yeah, is you heard it here. And right we, here. And, <laughs> and, and, and I and I would be just perfect for that job. Yeah. And yeah. just so you know, where Crowdfunder has failed is I know a lot about them. I know a lot about all the crowdfunding sites now from doing my research, consulting with mm -hmm. people, former employees, this and that, everything to get every nut and bolt perfect. And uh, they all try to reach out to big names in crowdfunding. And they've been shot down. I have not been shot down. Mm. So if we can get this to launch, we're going to be launching with some of the biggest names crowdfunding out there, supporting this site and getting campaigns. It may not be their biggest campaigns, but they're going to start throwing stuff on there. So hopefully, yep. like I said, everything works out and we can bring the platform that everyone wants. I want to be a plank deserves. owner. There you yes. go. Yeah. There you go, Graham. This is big, big, big news, Billy at Nile. This well, let's see. Let's well, not, you know, let's... we will keep you in the loop, okay. Chris. Uh, yeah, After our next saying. meeting, if everything goes as planned, then we will keep you in the loop. Okay. And we can start spreading the word. But we're yeah. working. Yeah. On it. There's no guarantees right now. We don't For know if sure. it's going to happen. Let me ask but... a probing question. If everything goes as planned, Lord willing, what is your ETA on a formal announcement? <laughs> 
Estimated. <laughs> if everything goes to you let Chris know. <laughs> once yeah. once yeah. all the paperwork is signed, then we will start hammering the media. Yeah. And the okay, engine. right. So so and if all goes as planned, uh my engineering team that I have developed, uh let's see, we're we're pushed back a little bit just because schedules for meetings, but if all goes as planned, I could have beta up and running by July and being live by September. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Maybe that is we awesome. throw a Florida man two up there. Or whatever you want <laughs> up there. Florida anyone. Florida man one up there and just Yeah, right. We're, we're well, we just again. got the inks back on Florida Man Two. So well, pretty pumped Florida about. Man Florida Man. Yeah. But again, Florida I am just gonna put out there exclusive edition. Yeah. I am gonna put out there for the listeners and the word will spread around that it's we're still working on it. Yeah, we're not set in stone yet. Yeah, so. it's a lot of work. It's like it's I've a lot of work and it too. is a lot of money. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the it's how the Shane and right it's yeah, the funding yeah. right Just now. The funding, yeah. but you need an ongoing team and ongoing IT support. You need security. Yep. You need to have a payment processor. I mean, I've been talking to Shane about what he's been doing for Inglorious mm -hmm. Rex, and it's work. And it's not something just anybody can do. So it's really impressive. I know what has like I'm not surprised it took you eight months, but Thank you guys for doing that because I know this is no. this is something that we've been needing, but yeah. it's it takes a lot of specialization and connections to actually make it happen. So and you're a hero, and man. We'd <laughs> like to do, and and we'd like to devote it to make it very comic book centric yeah. and comics, mm -hmm. you know, comic properties, toys, right? You know, everything has to deal so with like tech and new vacuums and motorcycles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You know, I mean, I mean we're, we're we're a business. But we're I had a vacuum world. idea. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I mean, right it. down to, to, I mean, we're going to give everyone everything. Like there's literally resources. So anyone that's afraid yeah. they can't do it, I'm giving, I'm giving you everything. You know, <sighs> we're going to have printers registered. We're going to have branding companies. You want to make toys. We're going to get all these companies, all their info on there. Just one stop shop, everything you need. I don't want to give everything out. Sure but, you know, I'm not going to give all the details away, that's but right. It's so you're tying in intense. like production recommendations it's and comic the entire book pipeline. Focused. Right. So right, it's crowdfunding right. comics. It's comic book focus. But obviously, can a crowdfunding site solely survive on comics? No. Mm. But think of a comic shop. It could be called, you know, Graham's Comic Shop. But Graham sells toys, comic books, games, action figures, other merchandise. So anything in the and realm Chinoo of plushies. like Chanel yeah. plushies, yeah. anything in that realm, you're not going to see big tech or anything like that in there. We're not going to have that stuff. Yeah. Man, that would be so awesome. Related. To and to to be tied into. I don't know if you're, you're looking crowd into like. Con. <laughs> Crowdfundicon, yeah. There We're gonna be tied into that. like printers who who are willing to work with us, and like factories who are willing to work with us, and so it's going to. I don't know if that's what it's going to be, but that sounds that would be great if we could have that there because we need Pop to know that. Platform. Yeah, oh. yeah, you're working with people who won't cancel you. Basically, what we're aiming for is being uncancelable. Yeah, yeah. You know, we want to get positive with this. Yes. Um, and and uh, and and make it a, a a a source of good, you know. There's so much negativity it seems with crowdfunding, which is you know from these various platforms by these these shrieking shrews that are going in there just trying to destroy everything. When this is supposed to be, a, a, and it is, I feel that with with crowdfunding today and with the internet, this is a new golden age of creator owned comics. There's never been this many creator owned books out there by people doing this. Great big names and small. You know, you've got some, someone like Ethan Van Skyver doing a million, you know, a million dollars on a campaign. You've got Brian Polito doing half a million dollars on five campaigns a year. Yeah. Via Kickstarter. Yeah. You know, and 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 uh, but then you got small, you got smaller ones like people like look at Mandy Summers. No one knew who really Mandy Summers was two, three years ago. She was, just was a watching mother. our streams. Yeah, she yes, yeah, she yeah. <laughs> She was a mother who, and she's coming on next week on uh, uh, Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci and Niles Gallagher. Um, but M Mandy had this story that she, it was almost like a Princess Bride story that she always would tell her daughter. And then she's like, you know, I'm going to make this into a comic book. She had no idea how to make a comic book. She liked comic books. And then she just started doing research. And then she just started hanging out in the, in the, in the, in the chats, right? And then she was so fun and had this great personality and all. And then we, she just started coming on the shows. And now look at her; she's a friggin' rock star. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is this is a this is a, an amazing, amazing well, uh, platform. I mean, if you look at the industry, right, comics in general, and a lot of pop culture in general. I mean, it's it. At the end of the day, like you, I think Rini, you were saying, like there's there's got to be someone above 
that's saying something that's striking fear into these companies and whatnot. And, it, and what it really is, it's just corporate political takeover. You know, it's not even necessarily the artists, but like people are trying to pay their bills and whatnot. So they're going to try to, you know, please the master. And that's where, you know, Billy, hmm. this is the golden age right now. Yes. Crowdfunding. It's a whole new era of comics. And that's where we got to all come together and just show that there's great product being produced. To, to mute those voices. Yep. Mm. I think one idea, Niall, if I could just submit just an idea for your website, and this is not something that please do. Yeah, please like, do. Please, but yeah, I think that be. if you're late on a campaign, maybe you can be rated as a crowd funder. Like in other words, if you hit I already got it, I love it. Nice. So there's, ra everything. there's ratings, Whoa. there's ratings and reviews, but yes. you have to be a backer. So, then again, like though, that. you know, someone that you don't want coming into your to your little network there, you know, they could back a ten dollar tier or whatever. And then and they then do have the ability review. to comment. But yeah. you as the, uh, you know, uh, the campaign, uh, you know, owner of it or whatever. I don't even know. I can't even talk. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? You can go through comments and, and edit as needed. Sure, sure. Well, that's I think it's important because I think it will motivate the uh, campaigner to do their best, to hit their goals and to update regularly, right? And to deal mm -hmm. uh, with communications with the backers. I think that's something that's gotten lost with some of these other people who are super mm -hmm. late and and probably a few people in CG that I can't, you know, even Ethan was super late. I, I, how long ago did I back his Rainbow Brute? But it's good to see him making progress. So if he's doing these updates, I think that should go a long way too. Like if you just go dark, Maybe you shouldn't have a high rating on that crowdfund platform. The word, yeah. well, the, the rating comes from honestly, it's going to come from the backers, you know, and 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 yeah. if they're they're happy and, and you know they have to receive the book in order yeah. to get the rating, you know, if someone's late, then you know there's going to be flags internally on the back end. We have to have flags of monitoring campaigns that haven't been fulfilled, you know, based on a ter certain time frame because you're going to want to uh, monitor that because the backlash is going to go to them and then it's going to go to the platform. Right. You mm -hmm. know, and then that may be where we intervene and say, Hey, what's going on? You haven't really updated your backers in a long time. But again, legally, there's a, there's a, a, a discrepancy when you're doing all that stuff, because at the end of the day, we are not responsible for sure. the creator and their book, but at the same token, we do want to nudge and be like, Hey, what's going on? Cause I've got Kickstarters that are literally going on five years now. Oh my yeah. gosh. Five years. Yeah, I mean, crowdfunder is a different issue because they directly persecuted us, but I don't care. I'll still buy books from people who are liberal. I have a lot of friends who are liberal. That's yeah. not an issue for us. Yeah. We're about freedom of creation. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, even with the platform that it looks like you guys are building, I don't, is it like a comic skate only website? I, it's, no. Yeah, it's a it's nope. a free website as long as you're not going around lying it's for about the love of, it's for the love of comic books and we're going to give a platform to anyone who wants to do it. Everyone yeah. deserves exactly. an audience. Everyone exactly. deserves an audience and no one should be shitting on anyone's audience and if you don't that's like right. it, don't back it. Just right. that's And it. that's what I that's what I loved about Comic skate, and that's what I loved about all the people here because we're putting the craft first and craft first and comics first, and it's not all about politics. And that sets so many people free, and that's helped so many people with their mental health, helped creators who would never have had a chance in the mainstream achieve their dreams. And that's why I'm personally not going to back down. I don't care what what they lie, uh, what they say about us, what what lies they say, because I think what we're doing here is helping people. And so thank you for your support, Evil One. You're awesome. Yes, thank you guys.